Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I took a bit of a break from YouTube. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't having a lot of fun on it. I, I, I just, I, I felt like I was doing the same things over and over. So I decided to step back, and I'm like, maybe I'll just stop this. Um, but I kind of found a new direction that I wanted to go in 2020. And I'm a little late. I wasn't sure I wanted to come back, so. But here I am. Okay, so it's the 10th of January, but it's okay. It's okay that we're a little late in starting my, well, not even starting, but introducing on YouTube my Project Pan 2020. I've already started and my pay, I've already started with these products and I've already en did an introductory post on Instagram. I will link my Instagram down below. It's KNJ Scorpio, KNJ Kristen Nicole J Scorpio. Um, but I'll, I'll link it for you. Okay, so, so yeah, that's where I, it, it kind of long and short of it. I just, I wasn't enjoying YouTube. Um, I just wasn't having any fun. So, but now I want to, I, I wanted to document this, um, not only on my Instagram, but also on YouTube. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully this will be, this will be fun. <laughs> I just filmed a look using all of these products on my face. This is the look. I'm wearing a different shirt and my hair is a little different, but it's 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 the same look. <laughs> That'll be up after this. Um, using all the products that I'm about to show you. So I'm doing Team Project Pan that was created by Kat and Haley from Beauty News. Um, I'll link them down below as well, and I'll put the hashtag, of course. Um, so they are beautiful women from Australia who do beauty news. Um, if you've never watched beauty news, it's fun. They give you all the information on upcoming releases. Um, they have an Instagram. They do other things on their channel as well. They each have individual channels as well. I highly recommend them. They're, they're, they're amazing ladies. Um, and I was watching their, their team project pan the latter half of the year in 2019 and I was like, I want to do that. Um, so I went ahead and jumped on the bad wagon for 2020. Again, I started on Instagram already. I already made a post and I already took pictures and um, did a bunch of things already and I will insert as I go. But again, also you can look at Instagram and see everything. So I wanted to go through it. Now, this project pan isn't pick X amount of you know, X amount of products and finish them before the end of the year. This project pan, and the reason why I jumped on this one and I was like, this is, this is brilliant, is, um, suddenly paranoid, I have a low signal on my teeth. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> um, is because it's a rolling project pan. So you pick products that you want to either finish completely, hit pan on, or just get some use out of. And you do a refresh every three months. So some of these items I picked because they were so close to being done. And once they're finished, you just bring in a new item. Um, and that's why it's a rolling project pan. You're not just like, okay, so that item's done. Great. You know, and then at the end of the year, you see how many products you got done. You, you do. You do and you don't. <laughs> um, but you just bring it in. It. Like, okay, so I have two foundations here. And they're very, very close to being done. Once I'm finished with these two foundations, I'm gonna bring in, I don't know, two more, probably two more products. I don't know if they're both gonna be foundations. You get my drift. Um, I have a concealer that's a correct, like a, a, a color corrector that's almost done. Same thing. But like my my bronzer, if I haven't used, if I haven't hit pan on my bronzer, at least I got use out of it. And in three months, if I decide I want a different bronzer, I can go ahead and just swap it out for a new one. Um, or I can keep it into the rest of the year. It, it, the rules are pretty flexible in that way, and I like that. Um, basically, it's a good way to just use the products in your collection. So, I want to go ahead and show you what I have decided to use for my first quarter of my Project Tin Pan. Well, I keep calling it Project Tin Pan. I Project Pan. It was originally called Project Tin Pan on here on YouTube, so I'm like, I have that stuck in my head for some stupid reason. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, first let's go over what is not technically make. Um, so I have two products that aren't makeup. Um, I have my eye cream, which is my L'Oreal Revitalist uh, eye cream. And this is basically because I need to put eye cream on <laughs> every day, so I need to remember to use it. You're not going to be able to see it. I took pictures um, that I'll insert and everything. I don't know that you're going to be able to see it. Um, it's, it's about halfway. I'm probably going to use this the rest of the year if not the first six months. Um, but I just needed to use an eye cream and I have so many of them. And uh, I like this one, so I went ahead and started with this one. The next kind of non-makeup item. Now technically you're supposed to have a full face and then some. They have a whole spreadsheet of like um, things to use, but honestly, it's I, I'm, I, I'm going to focus on what I'm going to focus on. I may roll in like, um, I have a body wash that I'm trying to work through already. And those are just everyday things. Like I'm going to use that anyway. I have a face wash that I need to finish up. I'm going to use that anyway. I may bring in, I may bring it in. I may not. I don't know. We'll see. This is my Prolescence Rosehip Facial Balance. What is it? Balancing Facial Oil. I got this, it's, look how dirty it is. I got this at TJ Maxx, and there's no way for me to show you how much is in here, but there is not a lot. There's not a lot left in here. Um, I, I've weighed it, so I'll, I'll insert that in here. Um, but, <laughs> so dirty. But this is something that I like to use before makeup um, to prep my skin. It's very hydrating, it's very, it, I, I like this a lot on my skin. I need to sit up apparently. I like this a lot on my skin. I would definitely repurchase this, um, but I have another facial oil that I'm going to try to use once I'm done with this. So those were my two like non-makeup items. Now, for my makeup items, um, can I going to try to go in order? I don't know how well I'm going to do, but I'm going to try. <laughs> Um, for my, I'm going to go in the order that I do makeup, I guess. <laughs> for my eyes, I'm going to do a separate video on what I'm going to do for my eyeshadows this year. Um, I'm not going to put pressure on myself to do, put like pan eyeshadows. I have 52 eyeshadow palettes and that's just the palettes. I also have singles. I have... Um, like liquid, like the Stila Shimmer and Glow and Glitter and Glow, and I have some loose pigments, and I have a lot of crap, okay? I have, I have a lot, and so I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on myself to pan those items. But what I am going to do is I'm going to use, um, underneath the eye prime, uh, underneath my eyeshadows, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. This is a tiny, tiny, tiny one. I feel like this is going to last me forever. Um, if you've ever watched my channel before, you know I also like the Milani eyeshadow primer, but just like the Urban Decay and just like the um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, that one breaks up after a while and gets really oily. This one is thick. It has not done that yet, so I'm hoping it doesn't. If it does, I'm going to have to get rid of it because my eyes are already oily, so that's a problem. But I'm focusing on this for my eyeshadow right now. Like I said, I'm going to do a separate video on what I'm going to do for my actual eyeshadows. But this is this is part of my project pan. My project pan. Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, so that was my eyes. Also regarding the eyes, I have my Fenty Fly Liner. It's a liquid liner. There's really no way to know how much product is in here. You know, it is starting to dry up a little bit. But I love this eyeliner. I love it. Like, I love it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up. Um, for, and like I said, I have a lot of this stuff on my face. So, I think I have everything, except for the Bobbi Brown face. Uh, I'll get there. Um, and then this is my <laughs> Sephora 12-hour eye pencil in Tiramisu. It's brown. I love these. I love these eye pencils. I love these Sephora ones. So, yeah. And then for my eyebrows, I'm using my It Cosmetics Brow Power. And 
this one I can kind of show you where I'm at on that. Not even can, I just kind of I can. I'm catching you. Okay. And then, yeah. So I feel like I can, I can, I can use this up at least the first quarter, I'm hoping. I have another one of these, which is interesting, but I don't ask. Um, but I think I could probably use this up in the first quarter. This one I'm probably going to use up in the first quarter too. This one, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how long it takes. I might, um, I'll probably like bring in a black one um, at some point, but right now that's what I'm using. Okay, so other than the microlescence oil, which definitely helps prime, I am going to, I have in this Bobbi Brown face base. I keep forgetting to put it on. Like, I didn't put it on today. I was trying to use up all my products today. It smells good. It smells like fruity. Almost like fruity pebbles. Uh, but I keep forgetting to use it. Like, I keep forgetting to use it. It's a tiny little sample size. I hear this stuff is amazing. I like it. I keep forgetting to use it. I, I don't typically use face primers, so I need to use up my face primers and get them out because I don't typically use them. As evidence, the fact that I completely forgot to use this today, but I'm trying to use the Bobbi Brown <laughs> face base. Now, this is technically considered a primer as well. I don't really use it. Oh, and I didn't use this today either. Oh, hey, look at that. Um, I didn't use this today either. Um, but I don't typically use this as a primer all over. I use it at the high points of my cheek. I, I basically use it as a like a highlighter before I put on. I put on my foundation and then I put this on and then I'll put like powder on and then I'll put like my other highlighter on. But this is the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. Again, I can't really show you where it's at, but it's it's pretty low. I've been trying to get it to settle so I could mark it, but it's it's pretty low at this point. I love this thing. I love this. I, I, it's expensive. I would run out and purchase this. They, I would run out and repurchase this. I really would. Damn you, Charlotte. Um, yeah. So, and yeah, I forgot to wear this today too. Well, alrighty then. Uh, oh goodness. All right. So then I have two foundations and the reason I used, I, I decided to do these two foundations first was specifically because they're almost done. They're almost, they're almost completely done. Um, this is my Fenty Hydrating, and you can see, I'm having a hard time starting to squeeze it out. This is in the color 200. This is too dark for me. This was my summer color. But I wanted to get it done and out. This is another one I would definitely repurchase. Um, it is so dirty. Everything is so dirty, and I apologize. But it, you can see, it's like, it's, it, it's getting down there. It's, it's getting down there. I love this stuff. It's 1.8 fluid ounces, 1.08 fluid ounces. I love this stuff. Um, but because it was so low, I was like, I could finish this up. If not by the end of the month, then definitely by like mid next month. And then I can roll in another foundation. I also wanted to use up my Makeup Forever. What is this called? Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. There's like nothing left in here. There's like, okay, so that's rolled all the way up. You can barely see it. Right? Um, this is, this is definitely going to be used up probably by the end of the month. Um, again, I, and, and this is a little too late for me. So I have a foundation that's a little too dark, a little too light. Um, I usually don't combine them because this one is thicker and usually needs a brush to be, be, you know, blended out. And I like a sponge with this one. So I'll usually use another foundation to lighten this one like I did today and then if I use this one I'll usually like put it all over my face and then you know use my bronzer and and darken it up so but they're they're both very very close to being done and then that's two foundations that I don't have anymore which is great um for concealer I have my instant age rewind um, my instant age rewind in the color brightener and again look how it's so low these are things that were just sitting in my 
drawers not being used because I found something different. I'm like, no, you know what? I need to use these. So this is another one that I think I can finish by the end of the month, if not, you know, into next month. Um, I have another color corrector, but it's nowhere near. It's like almost brand new. In fact, it is brand, brand new. Um, but yeah, so I'm definitely using that. I love that stuff, by the way. I love it. And then again, my Jouer, it's hard to tell how much is left in here. This is my, this is my oldest, this is my oldest uh, concealer I have right now. My, I, I actually finished up my Laura Mercier one that I had bef uh, before I did this in, in like November, December, I used up my Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier, which was my oldest concealer in my collection. So I was very proud of myself for that. So this is my second oldest in my collection, my Jouer uh, Essential High Coverage Liquid Foundation, which you're probably saying, really? It's not that old. Yeah, yeah. I, I declutter my, I declutter my concealers a lot because I find I don't like some things. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the concealer. I have no idea where I'm at. No idea. It's another one of those things that refuses to settle. Like refuses to settle. I just, I weigh them. Powder, um, my airbrush flawless still, my airbrush flawless finish powder, again, dirty as heck, by Charlotte Tilbury, again, I love Charlotte Tilbury, and I got some major pan on this, like major pan, I use this to set my under eyes, I use this to set my, um, my eyeshadow primer, I use this all over my face, I'm hoping that at least by my refresh in three months, I'll be done with this. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But, like, major pan. This is another Charlotte Tilbury product that I would burn out and buy again. I love this stuff. Um, okay. So, then face. Or, you know, like, color products. I was looking at my collection and realized that all of my bronzers I do not have like any kind of progress on at all like I have I've had bronzers in my collection forever and you'd think I would use those but no no I picked my my newest bronzer I don't know why my ColourPop um, coconut beach I like this color uh, it's very very soft and it's a very light color um, so I, I, I really like it, it's, again, what I'm having, what I'm having, what I'm wearing today, but um, I like it. I don't know why I decided to do it, but I'm going to use this for the first three months and then I'll, I'll refresh it. Um, I don't have any expectations about this. I just want to use it and then I'll, I'll trade it out for another bronzer in three months, probably, probably. I got that. That's the point is to use my products. So yeah, I'll probably do that. Um, okay. And then for face, this is my oldest blush. Uh, I keep saying face for blush. This is my oldest blush that I have in my collection. It's the benefit dandelion. I love this blush. I know some people are kind of like love it or hate it kind of blush. Look at the major pan on this too. Oh, let me, I'm trying not to blind you with that. Um, but look at the major pan on that. I've had this blush for a while now. I don't even know how long I've had this blush. Um, I loved this blush to death, almost. I'm going to try to love this blush to death. Um, I really, really like it on my skin tone, especially when I'm pale. It just, it gives a nice blush to the face. I enjoy this a lot. Um, so yeah, my, I'm going to use this for three months and again, see where I'm at. And after that, we'll, we'll see. Um, I've had it forever. I might just get rid of it after three months um, because, yeah, but I don't know. We'll see how much use I can get out of it in three months. Again with my highlighters. My highlighters, I, I'm i not close to hitting pan on any of my highlighters. Um, so to start, I just, I literally just chose my favorite highlighter, which is the Becca, Becca Highlighter in Moonstone. It has a little, it ha, it's like, it's got finger, fingernail 
things in it, but there's no, there's no real, like, massive progress on this. It's just my favorite highlighter. Like, this is my favorite highlighter. This, this is my ideal highlighter. So I just decided to throw this one in there. Um, again, I have no expectations on this. I just want to use it. I'll use it for the three months and then probably swap it out, but that, that was my reasoning behind this. I was like, I love that a lot. So, yeah. Um, l lips. Okay. So I am using, and I've been using, I've been keeping this by my bedside, and then I'm using it um, before makeup and all that. I do have my Laneige Pear uh, Lip Balm. I don't know if you can really tell. There's not a lot of product left in here. I don't want to squeeze it because I don't want to squeeze any out. Um, I really like this. I feel like it dries out my lips though, but I like how soft it is and I like the flavor, um, smell, whatever. But I feel like it dries out my lips. I have a whole Laneige, Laneige uh, lip sleepy mask and I probably should have put that in there, but that's going to take a whole year. This I can probably get through before the three months is out. So yeah, using that. I'm not usually a lip girl, and we all know this about me. At least you do if you've ever watched any of my videos. I'm, I I kind of had to force myself to buy lipsticks, and then I went overboard because that's what I do. Um, but this is my oldest lip liner that I have, and it's a Mary Kay, Mary Kay lip liner in medium nude. I do have the top here, um, but I wanted to roll it up and show you. So there we go. So it's a medium nude, and it goes well with the lipstick that I chose. It goes well with a lot of lipsticks. I also like it by itself. So like, I could definitely just put this on and then put that pear gloss over it because it's it, it's just it's a pretty color. And I have it on my lips, but here I'll give you a swatch of it. And it's just what the name implies. It's medium nude. <laughs> Interestingly enough. So yeah, I decided to work on that lip liner. It's my oldest one in my collection. I got it from my mom. And there's a little cap thing that it flew. It's over there. I gotta pick it up. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yes, yeah, so Mary Kay lip liner in medium nude. And then my lipstick is my little tiny MAC in Velvet Titty. And that's how much product is in there, which is a lot of product. Again, wearing it today, it goes really well with the lip liner. And it's just a nude, so it goes pretty much with any look, too. So uh, that's why it's it's tiny and that and all that. It's tiny and that and that and all that. That made, that made perfect sense. Let's try that again. It's small, um, it's cream, and it's a nude that can pretty much pretty much go with any look. So that's why I decided to use this. I like this lipstick a lot. And that, my friends, is what I'm starting with. Um, oh, no, I'm, I lied to you. One more thing. This is my MAC Fix Plus in Cherry Blossom. You can tell because there's cherry blossom leaves all over. Um, I got this last spring. Uh, yeah, so I'm just using this. I love Fix Plus. I love Fix Plus. So this was kind of a no brainer. I have a lot of setting sprays. Um, but I wanted to use this one because I believe it's my oldest. I believe this is my oldest setting spray. So I was like, I got to get this used. Plus it smells amazing. Plus it works amazing. And you can do amazing things with Fix Plus. Anybody who has been in beauty for a while knows what I'm talking about. You can use it to wet an eyeshadow and make it look like a friggin' shine from space. You can, it, it, it's a great product. So those are my products that I'm focusing on for the first three months of this project. I am, again, hoping to be done completely with my two foundations my um, brightener concealer and my pear lip balm by the time it, it, honestly I could probably be done with these three before next month if not 
middle of next month and that's only if I kind of cats and that's only if I neglect them which the point of this is to not neglect them so I could probably be done with these uh, by next month this I'm gonna try to be done with before the refresh and like I said everything else I, I'm just gonna work on I, I could probably be done by the rose hip oil by my refresh as well if not a little bit before that um yeah, everything else I'm just, I'm going to work on, get them down as quickly as I can, um, and then I'll roll in, I, I, I'm going to do a month check-in, um, so I know I'm posting this, like, I think I'm going to post it on the 11th or 12th of January, but I'm going to do on the 1st of February, around the 1st of February, first couple days of February, I'm going to do a progress, um, update, I'm going to do a progress post on Instagram and a progress video on it and then I'm gonna go ahead and you know at the three month mark show my progress and then if I do need to bring in new products I will show you what I empty like you know if I empty this and then show you what I replace it with so that's what the rolling project in pan is our rolling project that is what rolling project pan means um for my mascara by the way Right now I'm doing roller lash. It's not technically going to be part of my um, my project pan. This is just the one I have open. This is the one I'm using right now. I don't have another one open at the moment. In three months it'll be done because in three months that's when you're supposed to throw on your mascaras. <laughs> um, so I'm not technically going to consider this part of my project pan, but I am using this every day as well and it's the only one that I have open. So. I'm also, again, going to uh, do a separate video on what I'm going to do about my eyeshadows. And, yeah. And there's also going to be a look coming, or a, a video coming with this look. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're doing Project Tin Pan. Um, let me know what projects, you know, what what items you're focusing on. Let's let's talk about it. Let's, let's talk about it. You can also go to my Instagram again and check out um looks and things that i'm going to be doing with the eyeshadows which again i'll explain in another video and yeah thank you so much as always for watching i will see you on my update video in the beginning of february and don't forget to like this like this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along on my project pan and y'all have a wonderful day